Orgasm. The definition in the dictionary makes gross references to explosive discharges and vaginal contractions. For something that feels so good, it hardly sounds like it. But what is the big O? The male orgasm? Okay, that's a literal no-brainer. But the female orgasm is much more elusive. Books have been written, experiments have been conducted, and men have cried over it. Not to mention the G-spot. The science says that the female orgasm has absolutely no direct consequence to fertility, which means it should be on the way out from an evolution standpoint. But there must be a reason for the female orgasm. Different theories are out there, including that the vaginal contractions are responsible for propelling the sperm towards the egg, or that it exists as a subversive psychological manipulation tactic used to control men. <laughs> so not true. But the theory I prefer is that the female orgasm exists to create a bond between mating pairs. Bad sex just doesn't keep a woman coming back for more. Oxytocin, a little chemical dubbed the hormone of love, is released during female orgasm and helps in bond formation. Maybe that's just it. Stable mating pairs means more sex, and more sex means more offspring. So this is a little shout out to evolution for making the best feeling ever.